Hello everyone, welcome to Math is Fun. Our lesson for today is all about making simple predictions of events based on the results of experiments. Sometimes we can make predictions using the data from past events. Consider this example. The manager of Sky Ranch took a random survey of 100 visitors to the park. They summarized the results in the following table. of 5,000 visitors is expected at Sky Ranch over the weekend. Predict how many of these visitors will be under 21 years of age. This is the solution to the problem. First, we're going to find the probability. So to find the probability, we have two steps. Add the number of visitors ages 3 to 11 and 12 to 20. That is 22 plus 38. So let's add 22 plus 38 is equal to 60. For letter B, use theoretical probability formula. So this is our formula. Probability under 21 is equal to number of favorable outcomes divided by number of possible outcomes. So, the number of favorable outcomes is 60. And the number of possible outcomes, we're going to add all the visitors. 22 plus 38 is equal to 60 plus 28 is equal to 88 plus 12 is equal to 100. So the number of possible outcomes is 100. 60 hundredths is equal to 6 tenths in decimal. Number 2, multiply the probability by the number of expected visitors. So we have 5,000 times Six tenths. In multiplying numbers with a multiple of 1,000, multiply the non-zero digits, then count the number of significant zeros in the factors. So, we multiply 6 and 5, and the answer is equal to 30. And the number of significant zeros in the factors is 3. So, we bring down 3 zeros. Next, we're going to count the number of decimal numbers in the factors. We have only one decimal number in the factors. So, we cancelled one zero in the product. The answer is equal to 3,000. Therefore, Sky Ranch can expect 3,000 of these visitors to be under 21 years of age. I hope that you understand our lesson for today and thank you for watching.